Joining me now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Uh, Senator, um, Hunter's lawyers are claiming selective and vindictive um, prosecution of Hunter. That's kind of weak, given all the facts that, as Jonathan Turley just laid out. Uh, what's your sense of what's happening here? Well, listen, it is selective justice when it comes to Hunter Biden, because here's the truth, Laura. If he didn't have the last name of Biden, he'd be in prison already. Everybody knows that. What's driving this is he is a rich liberal with a rich, powerful father, and that is what has protected him all of these years. And if, if he were a working class guy who was going to church on a Sunday, what would he get? He'd have the FBI sitting in a pew next to him spying on him. He'd have FBI SWAT teams coming to his door to harass him for his political views. He'd be getting hounded to death. Now, because he's powerful, because he's rich, because his daddy is president of the United States, he gets a different standard. That's wrong. Well, Joe Biden is saying that if he didn't run in 2020, none of this would be happening. Like it, it, which, and of course, they laugh at Trump when Trump said, the only reason you're going after me is because I didn't retire in 2020. And, and they just discount that when Trump says, but now that's what they're relying on, that this is all just political. There's no there there. Or if there is something, it, again, it never would rise to an impeachable offense or, uh, or this type of prosecution? Well, it is political in this sense, Laura. It's political for the Bidens. I mean, Hunter Biden has made his living off of selling access to his father, clearly. It is a massive influence peddling campaign. There's just no denying it. And it's not just one foreign interest. It's multiple foreign interests. Everybody from Burisma, the Ukraine, China. I mean, the money that has flowed through this family to Joe Biden, to other Bidens. And we have the receipts. You can see the money from the foreign interest to Hunter and then from Hunter to Joe and other family members. I mean, it's undeniable. It's there in black and white. So it's, well, all, it's always been about politics for them. Yeah, the, the source of the income, to me, Congress hasn't paid enough attention as to who and what was sending this money to Hunter Biden and what they wanted for it. To me, that is something that must be uncovered and discussed clearly and laid out for the public. Let them come to their conclusions about what it all means. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's absolutely vital. You're absolutely correct. And listen, if, if Hunter really had nothing to hide, he would have gone into the deposition today and told the truth. He would have answered questions, but he doesn't want to answer questions from anybody. He doesn't want to answer questions from the public, certainly. He doesn't want to answer questions from investigators. He tried to get a sweetheart plea deal from DOJ and would have gotten by with it had the judge not asked some tough questions. I mean, this is a joke. Everybody knows that he is getting treated with kid gloves. Everybody knows that he's been selling access to his father for years. Let's have the truth finally. And as you say, let's let this be done in public. Let the American people see the facts and decide for themselves. Senator, I think he should be convicted just for that bad art. Um, just kidding. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.